Hello and welcome back to Aliana's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a cherry raspberry smoothie that's so tasty, full of healthy ingredients, and because we're going to be adding some ginger in it, it's a little spicy too. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do in making my smoothie is add my ice to my blender. So today I have about a half a cup of ice, or if you're using your frozen fruit, then you don't need ice, but today I'm using all fresh ingredients. And to my blender, I'm going to be adding in a half a cup of raspberries, as well as a fourth cup of cherries. And I just want to say, make sure you pit these before you add them to your blender, as well as one banana. And I also have one tablespoon of chia seeds today that I soaked in five tablespoons of almond milk for about 30 minutes or as long as you want. And the reason I did this is because it allows the chia seeds to really expand. And now I'm just gonna add these to my blender as well. I'm a huge fan of chia seeds. I love chia seed parfaits. They're so full of nutrients. And I also have one teaspoon of cashew butter or you can use almond butter or peanut butter, this one's up to you. As well as half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And for my spiciness, I have one tablespoon of ginger. You can either grate this or finely chop it up. I just chopped it up today. And then the last thing I'm going to be adding in is my nut milk. So today I have half a cup of almond milk but you can use any milk of your choice. Now, let's blend it all together. Okay, here we have our smoothie, and I absolutely love the color of it. It's so pretty and pink, so let's try it. And I also made a little garnish, but this one's up to you. I just took a toothpick and put some cherries and one raspberry in the center. And I just thought, add a little decorative flair to it. Now, the best part, getting to taste it. Mmm. Got a little on my fish. Mmm. It's so tasty. You can really taste the spiciness from the ginger, which I just love. And you also get a little crunch from the chia seeds in there. It's so tasty as well as refreshing on a hot day like this. So please let me know what you think of this smoothie in the comments down below and if you try it. I also want to mention today my friend Dan on YouTube. I've learned a lot from his channel and one of the things I recently learned was I'm trying to have a bit more of a garden and plant my own fruits and vegetables and herbs. And to do that, you need to have a place for your pollinators to sleep at night. So this is just a little insect house for your bugs to sleep in at night. I know that sounds a little weird, but it is important and you can just hang it in a tree. So thank you, Dan. Also, if you are a big smoothie lover like myself, I should have a playlist right here of all my smoothie recipes because I'm totally obsessed with them, especially during summertime. So I'd really appreciate it if you guys checked it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.